Hello YouTube world, it's Swoozy, and I've been thinking about doing this video and it just feels like this is the perfect time to be doing uh, this little video on basically the Murphy's Law of Makeup. Um, I kind of thought it would be a fun little tag or something if anybody wants to do it, but um, the timing couldn't be better. Let me just say that because um, I'll explain in a moment. But I was just thinking about the fact that, you know, there there is what I call like the Murphy's Law of Makeup or Makeup Murphy's Law. Just, it's like the minute you finish something, the minute you do something, you spend time, and then just boom, it never fails. And it just so happens that this is probably perfect timing. Uh, first thing, ADD moment, I had moved a couple things because I got a rug to put under here to see if it helps the sound because I had noticed an echo, so I'm hoping having a rug will help. But um, I'm feeling, first of all, like I'm off center, but I'm also feeling like I'm tilted. And um, so let me know if it looks like I'm crooked, okay? Because I keep looking, trying to see, and I don't know, I can't seem to fix it or it's okay and it's just in my mind or in my head. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> the Murphy's Law of Makeup. So I have actually three, two of which, two of which <laughs> I feel just happened to me. Um, the first one, which, you know, luckily, knock on wood, did not happen today yet, is it never fails. You finish the perfect eye look. Okay, it's flawless, it's beautiful. You look in the mirror and you think, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love this, it looks so good. And one of two things will happen. Either you get mascara, okay, on your lid, which actually I think is pretty easy to fix. But to me, the worst, and I swear this happens to me, all the time. I wear contact lenses, so I don't know if this exasperates the problem, but it never fails. It's like I will have literally, literally have just finished either my eye makeup or my face, and all of a sudden it's, oh my God, oh my God, there's something in my eye. And it's not just a little something, it's like one of those massive, Something's in my eye. Oh my gosh, I, I, I can't I can't even keep my eye open. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? And I end up taking my contact out and whatever is in my eye is still there. I can't get it out, I can't find it, and I end up having to ruin my eye makeup. This has happened to me more than once where I've actually had to like take like a paper towel or usually even like a damp rag and I've had to kind of try to work it out which ends up, you know, totally obliterating my makeup. And then I find myself in a situation where I have to redo my eye makeup. And it's just, oh my gosh, because sometimes when you get that you don't know exactly what you did and then you have to recreate it. And then the worst of it, of course, is, in my case, I'm usually rushing to try to get out the door, especially to work in the morning. And now all I can think is, I'm gonna be late. And it's just, it never fails, never fails. And the one that I hate the most is when I'm driving to work. That has happened to me before, where everything's fine, I leave the house, I'm in the car and as I'm driving to work, all of a sudden, oh my God, oh, oh my God, there's something in my eye. I don't know what it is, it's an eyelash. I don't know if it's a piece of mascara. I'd say it probably does happen more when it's time to change out the mascara, but oh my gosh, it just never fails, Murphy's Law. The second thing, which I feel like happened to me today, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so, let me preface this, and I might be, you know, you might notice not like, well, maybe a little bit of a different mood because I am so over it right now. Um, so I set this up, okay? I filmed a video and then I was like, well, I'm gonna change this out so that I've got more of a Christmassy kind of a background. And um, oh, I have not had this village out 
in a really long time because um, honestly, I have had no place to go with it. Years ago, I had a spot for it, and then what basically happened was, is I kind of started accumulating, you know, some other Christmas items and things I liked better that maybe were better. This just sort of lost its place, and I put other things in its place. And so it dawned on me, oh my gosh, I can pull it out again. It's not one of those, um, I don't know how well it's read. I'm not going to know how well it's reading on camera until I edit this. It is not one of those expensive collectible little villages that I know are out there and a lot of you probably have. Uh, this is just something that I, when I was selling Tupperware, <laughs> you talk blast to the past, um, it was one of those hostess gift items. And so as a consultant, I could purchase it at a reduced price price and I did and it's really cute and it's nice well here's the thing um, I just was having all kinds of trouble setting it up and it had actually I can show you it came with these lights okay and it, they've got the little clips on them and there's a little hole in the bottom of each of those and you you know just kind of squeeze this and put it in and then it, it rests right there. Okay. Well, the second thing is this. I had filmed a video before I decided to set this up. And before I filmed that video, I thought, you know what? I'm going to paint my nails. I feel like I've got a little bit of time and I'm going to get them painted. And I used um, a gel type thing and I even put a quick dry thing and all this kind of stuff that I did that to get them to dry faster. I filmed my video. I had touched them. You know where this is going, right? I had touched my nails. Here you can see my nails right there, okay? I had touched my nails. You know, I had, you know, and they, they're, they were dry. They were feeling great. Okay, filmed the video. So it had been probably an hour since I painted my nails. So I started setting this up. And I guess handling the ceramic houses and digging in the box and then dealing with this. And then one of these, oh my God, one of these actually went all the way up in and I couldn't get it out. So from doing this never fails, right? Turns out my nail polish was not dry. And that's not even the worst of it. The worst of it is right after I painted these. I thought, okay, I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes so that my nails can dry and I'll just sit here and look at the iPad. Well, of course, as I'm kind of leaning back with the iPad, the iPad slips and I bumped this nail and totally messed it up. So I ended up taking this off, having to redo this nail, which ended up messing up this nail. So these two nails got redone, all right? But it was all okay. <laughs> It was all okay because they were dry. Well, apparently not. Like literally just painted these a couple hours ago. Seriously, seriously. I like, you know, longer fingernails. I like painting my fingernails. I get a manicure on a regular basis, but honestly, seriously, this is why I kind of don't bother in between manicures is because this is just what happens to me all the time. All the time. I am so annoyed. Murphy's Law never fails. And in fact, I'm to the point, I just, I don't even expect my nail polish to look flawless anymore. I don't even expect it. I expect my nail polish to be messed up. So that's the second. Here's my third. And it kind of a result of this fiasco back here as well. So as I'm fighting with this, and I did notice it put like a little scratch on the top of my, whatever you want to call this buffet or whatever, which, oh my gosh, not happy about that. Not bad. Just, you know, a little something. And um, I'm getting worked up, <laughs> which I kind of feel like you can probably sense right now that I'm in a different place at this moment. Um, I was getting worked up, especially when that one light bulb went up into the house and I was like, oh my God, and I had a screwdriver and scissors and I was trying to somehow get it out 
and I couldn't and the more I was working the more I was noticing my nails were getting messed up and by that point I was like I don't even care anymore so then I was like intentionally messing up my nails I was getting worked up I was getting angry I mean I have a feeling there's some of you out there that know where I'm coming from and what I'm saying I was just really getting upset getting angry. I had put my hair back in one of these little things just to get it out of my face. And I could feel myself getting hot, <laughs> you know, hot and bothered. <laughs> and I could actually feel myself getting a little sweaty. And I knew right then and there, my hair has just gone to hell in a handbasket. And that is the third Murphy's Law for me of makeup, is that it never fails. You know, you fix your hair, you take the time. In fact, it might even be like, oh my gosh, it looks so good today. And one of two things happens. It turns out that it's raining when you didn't realize it was going to be raining. Or the one that I actually probably hate the most is it turns out to be one of those 30 mile an hour wind gust days. If anybody lives in an area where you get that and if my hair gets wind blown I might as well just forget about it just forget about it there's no saving the curl there's no saving a style there's no saving anything and I was feeling like that as I was getting worked up over this stupid little village behind me and it was just like oh my gosh my hair is just going to hell right now I can just I will say, I'm going to move aside again. I actually think it turned out rather nicely. <laughs> and it better have for all the headache and destruction that it gave me. I'm going to move on this side. I don't know if you can see what's over there. Um, you know, was it worth it? I hope so. so. Those are my little makeup my the Murphy's Law of makeup or makeup Murphy's Law. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but it's, you know, it's just, um, it never fails with the eye makeup. I have given up on nail polish looking flawless. I just have given up and I don't like the gel polish. I have done the gel polish. Um, and yeah, it's awesome because it dries right away and you can bam, you're out the door. But either because of my chemistry or whatever it is that makes nail polish a disaster on me, it actually does come flaking off on me and it doesn't last the two weeks that everybody claims it does. So what happens is I have chipped nails and no way to get it off. So that's why I stopped doing it. I also thought it destroyed my nails. I didn't like the way my nails looked. So, you know, never fails. The Murphy's Law of Makeup. And then of course the last one is, you kind of probably had to know my hair. Um, I just, sometimes it's just, you know, those days you leave the house and you're like, why did I even bother? Why did I even bother trying to do anything with my hair? <laughs> if you have some um, little makeup Murphy's Law moments, um, if you have a channel, I would love to see you do a video because I just thought it would be kind of fun to see what else people have or come up with, what your little kind of, oh my God, you know, just Murphy's Law of Makeup, it never fails. And if you don't, I'd love to hear from you what your little Makeup Murphy's Law moments are. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and as always, ladies, subscribe, because we deserve to reclaim our sexy, because age, wisdom, and confidence are damn sexy. Bye!